just a bunch of bass with them. Like a bunch. I-20 on the carbon surf. Nice fish. Let's get a release on them. Ooh, there's a wave coming. Of course. Okay, let's get a release on them now. Okay, let's see if we can get something like four times the size of this guy. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like as you fish and continue to fish and as the season's been going, uh, you catch small fish and big fish and you have to just weed through a lot of smaller bass to end up catching bigger fish. And uh, as the season has progressed, we were able to catch bigger and bigger bass. But a lot of that had to do with learning from those smaller fish where we're fishing, catching mostly schoolies. And then from that, you're able to figure out where those bigger fish are and staging up throughout the tides. And that's when you can really target those bigger fish in general. But to start, a lot of the fish we're catching weren't giants, but they're still solid schoolie to low to mid keeper size. Big enough. I, I, I. It's not giant, it's probably 30s. 30s. Yeah, I got the GoPro. It's not giant, but it's it's nice. This is probably what we've been dealing with all night. It's a fun size fish. Oh shit, big wave. Jeez. Okay, let's try to do this without getting washed away. Good lord. It's probably a 32 inch bass or something. It's still... You don't think that? No. Want to bet? I bet. You bet? I bet it's 29. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> it's 30 inches. They can't all be giant bass. Full moon vibes with a nice 30 inch bass. You know, more of these things need, I mean, this is a healthy, happy fish. So let's get a release on this sucker. 
try not to get washed away in the process. We, we have times where we're okay. catching lots of really big fish, but then there's also long, long periods of time where you have uh, those smaller schoolie sized bass. And a lot of it was, you kind of have to take it for what it is, which is just action. And uh, it's better than not catching anything in the end. And uh, embracing those smaller fish is something that you got to do, whether you're fishing for them, you know, and you're wanting those bigger fish because you'll drive yourself crazy in the end if you're just trying, if like a schoolie's not meaning much to you, that's what ends up driving you crazy. And that's what happened last year. And I just fell out of the like love for catching the the smaller fish to be able to embrace the moments that you know you're just getting good action from schoolie sized fish and up to keeper i guess is something that is important to do and it makes your quality of fishing so much greater rocks here. Come on. Get up. It's not a bad fish. Oh man. You can't you cannot beat that. Oh no himself for me. Oh, look at that. Nice hell it's not 20 inches or barely 20 inches if it is, but still. Hey, I'll take it. A nice a nice guy. Okay, let's get a little release. Keeper sized bass. It's a decent fish. That's not a bad bass. That's probably 28, maybe a little over 28 inches. It's okay. It's fairly small. Oh, it's actually pretty nice. They're eating bunker for sure. Another absolute brute on that from the plug, Magda Walker. Oh, another like 35 incher. So sick. I'll get to release on her and. and there you go. Awesome bass. Okay, well that was eventful. That's a nice 35 incher. Just like that, just something light. You snapped my leader right there, so I had to go jump on him. But hey, I'll take that fish. He might have lost my my poor Danny plug, but might still be in the weeds. He might it might be in the weeds. Okay, we'll try to get some pictures of this guy and we'll get a good release on him. Oh, that was deeper than 
unexpected. A nice, like, 15, probably 15 pounder, 35 inches, roughly, maybe a little under. But still, a really healthy, lively fish. Might be shiny with my thumb. Okay, I'm not going to be able to hear any of this. Okay. I mean, it's funny because there's, there's, he, there's those fish that haunt you that you lose and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I lost that. You know, it was the biggest fish of my life type thing. And then there are other fish that are just solid fish. And what I would like to say are those fish that are meaningful. And there's certain fish that I, I've broken off on or pulled hooks that are smaller, but, um, they're not like giant monster bass, but they still meant a lot for me to catch those fish. And if I was able to catch him, it would have meant a lot to me. He's gonna wake up in a second. wasn't giant. He got me in the rock. I saw the fish. He was just just over 40 inches, but it wasn't too big. That's tough. Ah, happens. Uh, and that fish in general was one of those where we we're in a pattern of pretty slow fishing, and catching one 40 incher was a, it was a good night. Just how the fishing was, and um, breaking off on that fish was one of those things that's just like, you kind of just have to be like, okay, you know, it happens. It's part of the game. The break off rate was huge this year, which is unfortunate. It's, even though I'm fishing way heavier than average people do in my area, it's just what I do as I fish heavy, so I don't break off a lot. But that doesn't mean that you don't do it. And it happens fairly often to me this season where I'd, you know, get unlucky and the bass would just get me right in between a rock and snap me off. So the, it's interesting because I found a bite that was, that really is kind of rare to find in the way the fishery is right now. And that is really large bass on the surface. And not only that, it's really large bass on the surface in the middle of the day. And they're, they've been extraordinarily aggressive fish. Uh, I'm talking about bass that will just come fully out of the water and are just mean and big. And uh, these were mid-summer bass. These were warm water, kind of lazy fish, but they were going for it. They're coming out of the water for it. They're hitting really fast moving prey. And there's a lot of bunker around and uh, that just really fueled this crazy bite that I was able to get on.
that day I was dealing with a lot of seaweed and um, there was a lot of big fish out there. I would I was getting them to swirl on my plug, but I couldn't get them to actually commit to eating it. And I'm talking about pretty much every cast, I'd have this big bow wake coming at him, coming at my plug or big swirls on the surface. And I knew they were solid monster sized fish, but I couldn't get I couldn't get those fish to commit and actually eat the uh, the, the plug. And the problem that I was having with that was uh, I, I didn't know what to do when you have a bunch of big fish and they're being slightly finicky and the water is a little bit dirty with a lot of seaweed. Um, and so you kind of have to get those fish to eat in a very small window and it's kind of difficult to do, especially convincing a fish that big that's that smart to come up and eat a plug like that. It's kind of difficult to do. But uh, just on a whim and very luckily I cast it out at one point. I had some seaweed on my plug and I started ripping it in across the surface of the water, not paying attention. I was actually looking at a boat that was driving by and then all of a sudden I just hear this big splash and before, and I, as I just turn around, I just feel this dead weight on my plug lift up and all of a sudden this thing is just ripping out line. Like I couldn't even believe how hard this thing was pulling. Okay. Oh, oh my God. I wasn't even looking. Oh, this is scary. Oh, this is a monster. Oh my God. This is a monster. Oh my God. I was just reeling it straight in. And I'm absolute bona fide monster smoked it wasn't even looking I mean it's scary because he might be really weirdly hooked but it's an absolute cow oh shit what is he hitting me with he keeps rolling or something Feels like the hooks keep pulling. They're gonna pull. I was ripping it. Hey. Oh my god, this is a big fish. My God. What? What? Oh my God! Holy crap! Huge, huge fish! Holy crap! I need to get a length on this guy. Oh my God, it's a 50 inch bass. Oh my God, that is ridiculous. Oh, oh my God, on the Puma plugs. Magnum Walker, oh, it's a 50 inch bass. Oh, oh my God, are you joking? Are you joking? Okay. Oh my god, are you joking me right now? That's an absolute monster. Oh, that's an absolute monster straight pass. I can't even believe that. Oh, 50 inches on the, that Puma Plugs Magna Walker right in the side of its face. Oh my god, 
that is a ridiculous fish and even a bigger and more ridiculous on top water. Oh. I'm gonna get a release, get a release on her. And sometimes that's the most fun when you just can't just randomly hook into monster fish and it's so exciting because it's such an electric hit and then all of a sudden that thing is just tearing line off and uh it's it makes all of that time of catching smaller fish all worth it in the end when you get a few really awesome moments like that a year